They are even below 18 years. Some of them are 15 years. These girls follow older men. When I mean older men, men that are old enough to be their fathers. Even their grandfathers. Mention I'm from Nigeria. They'll just look at you like this. Hey, can I, are you sure I can do business with this person? Are you sure I can trust this person? Are you sure I can, I can rely on this person? Are you, sure, are you sure I can confide in this person? And this whole thing is even staining Standing we good Nigerians. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be reacting to Amarachi Duru's post on um what you know Nigerians do in Ghana that she does not like. Okay, I watched that video and I was really um touched. I was really moved to you know come here and share my own opinion on it the one that moved me the most is the fact that she said some of nigerians especially the Igbo tribe move over to ghana just to sell their body for money and being the fact that i'm from Igbo tribe okay it really touched me and i'm here to share my own opinion on it like i don't know i don't know where to start but let me just start from somewhere <music> not just in Ghana okay because I also went you know through her comment section and a lot of people said even in Europe even in um, other countries that this is one thing they see or one thing that Nigerians do that um, they dislike a lot okay okay now let me just tell you guys a quick story I moved all the way from eastern parts of Nigeria to Lagos okay and um, coming here i also learned that a lot a lot of women a lot of young girls a lot of ladies that sell their body for money here are mostly Igbos. it's 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 embarrassing okay when i heard that for the first time because you know they usually have their sport they usually have their you know where they you know the areas they market them themselves they sell they sell themselves you get what i mean you know i learned that most of them are Igbos. And I don't understand. She also said they are like 18 years and above. Guy, girl, because I know you're going to watch this video. People that I've seen, people that I as in, I met here, around here, they are even below 18 years. Some of them are 15 years. And these girls follow older men. When I mean older men, men that are old enough to be their fathers. Even their grandfathers. These are the type of men these women follow or these women sleep with. And I don't understand. They're not women, they are babies, they are young ladies. Despite the fact that this country is hard, living in Nigeria is hard, but you shouldn't sell your body for money. You shouldn't sell your body for money for any reason whatsoever. You should not even try to consider that at all. There are a lot of things you need to do, there are a lot of things you should do. Okay? You know, engaging in crimes is wrong, it's totally unacceptable. It's, 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 it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Like, it's an embarrassment. And these things are really tarnishing the, tarnishing the image of this country. Nigeria. At the time, you know, they, they don't want Nigerians in their country. At the point, they even send some of Nigerians back. But we keep moving. Despite the fact I know that, you know, we, we are hardworking. Nigerians are hardworking, no doubt. We are survivors, no doubt. But then... But then, you, a, there, there are lots of ways you can survive. There are lots of ways you can make, make a, a, as both ends meet. There are lots of things to do to, you know, make money. You shouldn't engage in crime. You shouldn't engage in fraud. Because one thing there is that despite the fact you're moving from your country to another country to cause all this havoc, to cause all these crimes, you are also tarnishing the image of those countries. It's been opportune to, you know, speak with some Ghanaians. I've been opportune to even have Ghanaians friends and I can actually say that this, these guys don't really have problem. Okay. Despite the fact that a lot of us wants to Japa. Okay, Japa means leaving the country, okay, you know, in search of greener pastures, in search of better life. But then before you Japa, before you leave your country, before you leave Nigeria, please make sure you have something. Make sure you 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 plan yourself. You don't just Japa Japa for nothing. Japa to cause problem. From Nigeria to Ghana to to fraud the country, from Nigeria to Ghana for prostitution, that is that is very bad. 
it is very very bad like when i listened to her i know she complained bitterly and i could relate with her 100 percent please nigerians don't leave your country to other countries for problem don't leave nigeria to you know jabba to another country for you to fraud people now people don't even once you men once you mention i'm from nigeria they'll just look at you like this hey can i are you sure i can do business with this person are you sure i can trust this person are you sure i can i can rely on this person are you sure are you sure i can confide in this person and this whole thing is even staining staining we good nigerians it is staining us please let us do not wash your dating linens outside enough is there enough enough is there enough you don't just jab out all the way from leave your country leave like <laughs> she even went for that to say that like you shouldn't jab her where like nigeria will be better than where you are jabbering please good name is better than riches let us try to you know mend this our country let us try to portray nigeria in a good way please let us try to you know you know let, let's change let's change let's try to work on how to better ourselves better our economy better nigeria because the, the as in like they say good name legacy lives on and the way we are portraying Nigerians out there is crazy. The way we are portraying this country out there, because when I, the first thing they ask is, where is she from? Where is he from? Is he a Nigerian? I can't know and I can't trust you. I can't trust you. And all Nigerians are not bad. But the bad ones there out there are just making, you know, generalizing the whole thing, making it look as if all Nigerians are bad. We are not all bad. At least I know that I'm not bad. I'm not bad. I'm a good Nigerian. Please, let us stop corrupting other people's country let us not let us stop you know portraying bad 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 name out there okay nigeria is blessed i know we are blessed i know that we are hard working i know that put a nigerian here he or she must survive no matter how deep no matter how dark no matter how solid that place is is nigeria will just jump out we are always victorious i know we are conquerors i know but then we should try to portray good attitude out there we should try to portray good character we should try to be you know worthy of emulation okay i i i i i felt really bad watching that video i felt really bad watching that video and i thought it's right time for me to comment come here to drop my own piece of advice because i believe that a lot of Ghanaians watch me as well i hope you enjoyed watching and i also hope you're going to check out her channel as well i'll leave the link to her video in the description box and us as well i also leave her channel name on the screen for you to check her out okay thank you so much if you watch up until now do not forget to give me thumbs up subscribe to my channel if you've not and in case if i forget my name is uju and you are highly welcome to julian space click on the subscribe button to join this family and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for watching as always and let me know what you think in the comment section i'll be reading okay thank you so much once more i will see you all in my next video bye guys Mwah.